Historical Mysteries of the Civil War. But first, thanks Penguin Army for subscribing to our channel. We hope you guys enjoy learning about some of the historical mysteries of the Civil War. Let us know which one you think is the most mysterious and maybe we'll feature you in an upcoming video. Number 10. Thunderbird Discovery The Civil War was one of the first wars to actually be documented with photography. The photos help to add to some of the authenticity and can even become mysteries themselves. This photo here, according to the story, was of a giant bird or something mysterious shot down by soldiers during the Civil War in 1864 near the city of Vicksburg. The publicized story reports that it was some kind of unknown bird. There's certainly more than one photo of this as well. There was a popular cryptid talked about in Native American mythology given the nickname of the Thunderbird. Could this be what they were talking about? Many people claim it was some type of pterodactyl that managed to escape extinction and flew through the air of unexplored western territories. Many people claim it was a hoax, but where did people at that time get a photo of something like this? Number 9. Treasures of the Confederates This mystery has many treasure seekers digging around their backyard. It refers to hidden gold caches worth millions of dollars to someday fund another Confederate uprising in the future. Stories of hidden gold date back to when the Union troops were on the verge of invading New Orleans and bankers had to hide it somewhere before it was possibly plundered. It allegedly was moved to the city of Columbus, Georgia. A general by the name of P.T. Bogard arrived at the bank, but the owner of the bank actually refused to hold on to it, fearing the Union would find him. What happens to the gold after that incident remains a mystery. This treasure has been referenced many times in fictional films and TV shows, adding speculation on the possibility of it being in Alcatraz or even in Mexico. Peter F. Warren wrote a fictional book titled Confederate Gold and Silver about the enduring mystery. Number 8. Glow in the Dark Wounds The Civil War was home to some of the most gruesome fighting and loss of life that ever took place in American soil. This eventually led to some unknown medical mysteries like the one we're about to mention. Imagine soldiers charging at you that were glowing in the dark like a bunch of vicious zombies. Glow-in-the-dark wounds were one of these medical mysteries. In spring 1862, General Grant began marching his men deep into enemy territory along the Tennessee River. The Battle of Shiloh took place, leaving many men wounded, and fighting took place well into the night. Doctors began to notice people lying on the ground, actually glowing. Soldiers at this time were quite often prone to infections, and it's believed that the reason they glowed in the dark was from a luminescent bacteria that flourished near the Tennessee River. Strangely enough, the ones with the glow-in-the-dark wounds survived longer, and the soldiers thought it was an angel that saved them. Number 7. Haunted Fort Monroe With so many young men losing their lives at such an early age, it seems as though not each and every soul was ready to head to the afterlife. As a result, the Civil War seems to have created quite a few haunted places and eerie stories, as we're about to see in this video. Fort Monroe is certainly one of those places. It sits on the coast of Virginia and was an important Union stronghold not far from the Confederate capital of Richmond. It's also known as the Freedom Fortress, where Jefferson Davis even stayed as a prisoner at the end of the war. They also reported shaky windows and someone even captured an audio of a little girl calling for her cat. A ghostly white lady that appears is thought to be the soul of a general's wife who shot her after she had an affair. Number 6. USS Keystone State in November 1861, members of the Wisconsin militia were expecting a large shipment of weapons from a ship called the USS Keystone State, but never got their arms. This was an elaborate ship and was dubbed the Palace Steamer for its comfortable design. Certainly no ordinary cargo ship. With a crew of 33 people, it left Detroit and was set to land in Milwaukee, but this never happened. People who expected the delivery thought the ship just sort of vanished in midair. Finally, in 2013, the ship was found at the bottom of Lake Huron, near the city of Alpena. The scuba explorers who made the remarkable discovery believed it was from a storm that hit the area, but this has not been proven. They unfortunately found no gold that was rumored to be on board, nor the remains of the crew on board, which led many to speculate. Number 5. Confederate Flying Machine A letter to Jefferson Davis was uncovered in the National Archives in Washington, D.C. about an astonishing claim. Richard Oglesby Davidson proposed the idea in this letter of building a flying machine capable of traveling at speeds of 100 miles per hour. But first, he needed the Confederate government to provide him with $1,500. This man was actually known for his inventive capabilities and wanted to provide the Confederacy with his idea that he came up with 40 years before the Wright brothers. However, his offer went initially ignored by Jefferson Davis. Once again, but more towards the end of the war, he proposed his idea to Robert E. Lee, including blueprints. 
The engineering department believed that the steam-powered engine would have been far too heavy to take flight. But if the idea had been approved at the beginning of the war, could it have possibly changed the outcome? Number 4. The Winnin Steam Gun Many mysterious experimental weapons came out during the Civil War, like this double barrel cannon for example, and the designs are somewhat baffling. One of these weapons were steam powered and it rotated discs, rapidly firing projectiles. This would essentially replace gunpowder and be much quieter. Newspapers claimed that it was a war ending weapon. This weapon was on its way to be sold to the South when the Union confiscated it. Some sources claim that this was put to use during riots. A Mythbusters experiment, however, concluded that this idea could have never been lethal unless it was fired from point-blank range. Number 3. The Gettysburg Ghosts Gettysburg was one of the hardest fought battles in all the Civil War, and the casualties seemed to be endless. Many believe that this battlefield is haunted by the ones who lost their lives here, and it almost seems that there's no way for it not to be haunted. It's believed that during the three-day battle, there was more than 50,000 casualties. Buildings nearby have been featured on Ghost Hunters, Most Haunted, and Ghost Adventures. Tourists who come to visit Gettysburg often get a ghoulish surprise and noticing white orbs in their photos. Many people claim that this photo here is just a man in a Union outfit walking to the right side of the road. But there were no reenactments this day, and this was an isolated area. Others claim to hear musket fire in the middle of the night and the eerie smoke that seems to float over the battlefield. If there's anywhere that's haunted in the US, it's definitely this place. Number 2. Mysterious Submarine Discovery Experts claim that they finally found an elusive submarine called the H.L. Hunley that was used by the Confederates during the Civil War. Some historians claim that this was the first submarine to ever sink a warship in battle. It was found off the coast of South Carolina. The design was actually used to ram explosives into enemy ships and not for firing torpedoes. This took place in February 1864 when the H.L. Hunley took down the USS Housatonic. You can tell the design is somewhat primitive but sort of looks like our modern portrayal of a submarine. And number 1. Stonewall Jackson Mystery Stonewall Jackson was a major factor in the Civil War and his demise is shrouded in mystery. The Confederate commander was second in command only behind Robert E. Lee. How could a military genius and Confederate general of his magnitude have possibly been killed by a mistake? Many claim it was due to friendly fire but others think there's more mysterious reasons. Story goes he was shot down by his own troops during the Battle of Chancellorville on May 2, 1863, and this basically became a turning point in the war. Some believe that the positioning of the moon that night actually made his coat appear to look more dark blue, which made the commander say to open fire. Others claim that it was nothing short than pure treason. There's many conspiracy theories out there claiming that his own soldiers didn't support him denouncing slavery in the South. Some people even claim to be in on the conspiracy, but only after the war was over, possibly to get some fame. Friendly fire or unfriendly fire, what do you believe?